Pyongyang Metro in Pyongyang, North Korea. The Pyongyang Metro is the metro system in the North Korean capital Pyongyang. It consists of two lines, the Kolima Line, which runs north from Pung Station on the banks of the Taidung River to Polnbul Station, and the Hixon Line, which runs from Kwangbok Station in the southwest to Ragun Station in the northeast. The two lines intersect at Chnu Station. Daily ridership is estimated to be between 300,000 and 700,000. Structural engineering of the metro was completed by North Korea, with rolling stock and related electronic equipment imported from China. This was later replaced with rolling stock acquired from East Germany. The Pyongyang Metro has a museum devoted to its construction and history. Construction of the metro network started in 1965, and stations were opened between 1969 and 1972 by former President Kim Il-sung. Most of the 16 public stations were built in the 1970s, except for the two most grandiose stations Pohung and Yangguang, which were constructed in 1987. In 1971, there was a major accident during the construction of a tunnel under the Taidung River for the Pong A Way Station. Some sources say at least 100 workers died in the accident. This particular section of tunnel was never completed, the metro network is now completely located on the western side of the river. The Pyongyang metro was designed to operate every few minutes. During rush hour, the trains can operate at a minimum interval of two minutes. The trains have the ability to play music and other recordings. The Pyongyang Metro is one of the cheapest in the world to ride, at only 5-1, worth half of a US cent, per ticket. Instead of paper tickets, the Metro previously used an aluminium token, with the emblem of the Metro minted on it and the Korean. It now uses a paper ticket system, with printed with blue ink on it. Tickets are bought at station booths and scanners are present but non-functional. Smoking and eating inside the metro system is prohibited and is punishable by a large fine. In general, tourism in North Korea is allowed only in guided groups with no diversion allowed from pre-planned itineraries. Foreign tourists used to be allowed to travel only between Pung Station and Ingguang Station. However, Foreign students were allowed to freely use the entire metro system. Since 2010 tourists have been allowed to ride the metro at six stations, and in 2014 opened all of the metro stations to foreigners. University students traveling with the Pyongyang project have also reported visiting every station. Pyongyang Metro has its own museum. A large portion of the collection is related to President Kim Il-sung providing on-the-spot guidance to the workers constructing the system. Among the exhibits are a special funicular-like vehicle which the President used to descend to a station under construction, it rode down the inclined tunnels that would eventually be used by the escalators, and a railbus in which he rode around the system. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge. Thank you.